नमस्कार आई एम अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट वी विल सी टुडे दैट इज ऑन 15th ऑफ जून हाउ वाज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट 24 आवर्स एंड व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट वन वीक If you see the observed weather during last 24 hours, then thunderstorm accompanied with squally wind, with speed reaching 60 to 105 km per hour, was observed at isolated, isolated places over Delhi, Punjab, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Yesterday, heatier conditions prevailed at isolated places over West Rajasthan, North East Rajasthan, and East Uttar Pradesh. Hail storm was also seen at uh, isolated places over West Madhya Pradesh and over Delhi. If you talk about rainfall activity during past 24 hours, heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall was seen at isolated places over South Malan, West Bengal, Konkan, and Goa, coastal Karnataka. Heavy to very heavy rainfall was recorded at isolated places over Bihar, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, South India Karnataka, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura. If we talk about uh, the uh, main headline for today's weather briefing, then it is about the advance of southwest monsoon. The conditions are favorable for further advancement of southwest monsoon over some parts of Gujarat, some more parts of Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh and Odisha during next 24 hours. It is also likely to uh, advance into some parts of West Bengal, Jharkhand, Bihar and East Uttar Pradesh during subsequent three days. If we talk about the main weather features which are impacting India today, then there is a cyclone circulation over northwest Bay of Bengal and neighborhood which is treating southwestward with height. There is also a cyclone circulation over west central Bay of Bengal off north coastal Andhra Pradesh coast. There is a cyclone circulation over south Madhya Maharashtra and neighborhood that extends up to upper troposphere levels. A trough runs from East Madhya Pradesh to Bangladesh across Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Gangetic West Bengal in lower topospheric levels. There is also a cyclone circulation over central parts of Assam and no neighborhood in middle topospheric levels. And also there is an apparent cyclone circulation over North Rajasthan in lower topospheric level. There is also a trough vision from this particular cyclone circulation to West Madhya Pradesh in lower topospheric levels. There are two more cyclone circulation in northwest parts of the country, one over southern parts of Himachal Pradesh and in North Uttarakhand and one in over eastern parts of Uttar Pradesh in lower topospheric levels. Today, western disturbance is located around longitude 70 degree east to the north of 26 degree north latitude. So if you talk about the monsoon rainfall activity which is continuing over south uh, southern parts of the country, it is likely to be an active phase with heavy to very heavy rainfall activity at a few places and extremely heavy rainfall activity that is more than 20 centimeter rainfall is expected to 24 hours at isolated places over south peninsula India and Konkan and Goa till 16th of June 2025. If you talk about temperature, maximum temperatures are uh, likely to fall by 3 to 5 degree centigrade over Northwest India during next 24 hours and no significant change is uh, expected thereafter. Over Central India, uh, no signif significant change in maximum temperature is expected during next 24 hours and then they are likely to fall by 2 to 4 degrees centigrade during subsequent 5 days. If we talk about weather warning, so if we talk about today that is 15th of June, then we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall activity with isolated extremely heavy rainfall activity over Konkan and Goa, coastal Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Ghat areas of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. If you talk about uh, color coded warning, then for these regions, red alert has been issued. If you talk about Tamil Nadu, uh, interior Karnataka, Madhya Maharashtra and Gujarat, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is expected today it is on 15th of June and accordingly orange alert has been issued. For uh, northwest parts of the country, thunderstorm activity with gusty winds, wind speed reaching from 50 to 60 km per hour, gusting to 70 km per hour is likely over Rajasthan, West Madhya Pradesh and over uh, Punjab, Haryana and western parts of Uttar Pradesh. Hail, hail storm is also likely over northern parts of Haryana and West Uttar Pradesh. We are also expecting heavy rainfall activity over Uttarakhand and thunderstorm and lightning activity over Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir. If you talk about eastern parts of the country, then hot and humid weather is likely over eastern Uttar Pradesh and Bihar today that is on 15th of June and thunderstorm activity is expected over other parts of eastern India which includes Odisha, Kangati, West Bengal. In northeastern parts of the country, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is expected over Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura and heavy rainfall over Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya. If we talk about 16th of June that is tomorrow, then we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall activity with isolated extremely heavy rainfall activity to continue over Konkan and Goa and coastal Karnataka accordingly red alert has been issued. Over Gujarat, Madhya Maharashtra, in South India Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and uh, the Odisha, Jharkhand, we are expecting isolated places to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity and accordingly orange alert has been issued. For Assam and Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, also isolated places can see 
very heavy rainfall activity and orange alert has been issued for rest of the parts of uh, northwest parts of the country yellow alert has been issued where thunderstorm activity is expected with gusty winds from 30 to 40 km per hour gusting to 50 km per hour rajasthan is expected to receive thunderstorm activity wind speed reaching from 40 to 50 km per hour gusting to 60 km per hour if we talk about day 3 then this rainfall activity intensity is likely to reduce slightly over southern parts of the country and heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is likely over konkan and goa coastal karnataka south india karnataka and kerala in addition that uh, have rainfall heavy rainfall activity is likely to continue over eastern parts of the country which includes gangetic west bengal jharkhand odisha and chhattisgarh over northeastern parts of the country also heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is likely to continue on 17th of june which includes arunachal pradesh assam and meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura we are expecting thunderstorm activity to continue over northwest parts of the country on day 3 as well with wind speed reaching from 50 to 60 km per hour gusting to 70 km kilometer per hour over rajasthan and 40 to 50 km per hour gusting to 60 km per hour over as parts of northwest india if we talk about 18th and 19th we are expecting rainfall activity to continue over eastern parts of the country which includes heavy rainfall heavy very heavy rainfall activity over odisha jharkhand bihar and also in the northeastern parts of the country which include arunachal pradesh assam and meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura on 18th and 19th in addition to that uttarakhand is also expected to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity during next during next one week and also we are expecting thunderstorm activity to continue over northwest parts of the country including jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh punjab rajasthan uttar pradesh and heavy rainfall is also expected over uttar pradesh on 18th and 19th of june if we talk about uh, day 6 and day 7 at 20th of june and 21st of june we are expecting heavy rainfall activity over uttar pradesh Uttarakhand is likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity. Himachal Pradesh is expected to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity. In addition, addition to that, heavy rainfall is expected over Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan and Goa, and heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is expected over northeastern parts of the country. These are the warnings for next seven days, and uh, we will meet again with similar kind of information tomorrow. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar, Jai Hind.